What is up everybody? It is Brian with First Shot Tactical back with another video for you here today. And today we are doing an unboxing and overview of the Laser Speed FL5. With that, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing here. You can see it comes in a nice little compact package here. And uh, oh yeah, a little camo on the bottom. All right, right off the bat, this looks pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and set this aside, see what else we have. Everything's out of this bag here, so I'm gonna set this aside for right now. All right, we went ahead and got everything out of the package, and uh, as far as what comes with it, we do have the instruction manual. As seen here, it goes over the function of the uh, operating system, as well as the different switches and what the indications mean. We also are provided a cleaning cloth. Also, this is a cleaning device as well, and these are pretty nice. I actually have a couple of these for my cameras. Uh, it's like a microfiber cloth on one end, and then actually if you pull this out, there's another piece on the other end here for cleaning lenses, so this is actually pretty nice. I already used one of these, so it's nice to have another one of them. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is let's get some batteries in this here. You can see we have the battery door right here, so I'm gonna loosen this guy off here. And you can insert the one large battery, but you can also use, I have two, uh, these are Streamlight uh, CR123A batteries. Uh, a lot of my flashlights I have use these. So you can actually use two of these here. You can see the indication for which way to put them in. So I'm gonna put two in there and then screw the cap back on. Perfect, now that we have that tightened back on, so we're good to go there. Next up then is now that we have the batteries in, this should work here, so we can take our caps off the front. You can see one side is the uh, LED flashlight. And then the other side is our lasers. We have a green visible laser, a uh, IR illumination, and then also a IR laser in there as well. So that's what the three holes there are for. So let's go ahead and test this out to see if it works. In order to use this, you have two different dials and then also the pressure pad right here for the button to turn it on. So step one is you have to select your power. Do you want low or high power here? So let's go ahead, we're gonna flick it to low you can hear the audible click there and then from there you can select which one of your laser or laser light combos you have or you want to use so let's go ahead and talk through what each of these uh, values stand for the first one here fv stands for flashlight and visible green laser the second one just f stands for just flashlight so that'll be just the flashlight v is for the visible laser so that's just the green laser that's visible i stands for ir laser so that's the actual laser beam one that's an ir l is your illumination so your ir illuminator so so that's what that stands for. So that's more of the IR flashlight. And then the last one, C here, this is the IR laser and IR flashlight combined. And that's what the C stands for, for combined. So with all those values in mind here, let's go ahead and test out the flashlight first here. Again, we have it on low. Let's turn the dial to F for just the flashlight. And then now when we hit the button here, we can see that our light does turn on. If we wanted to crank this up and go to high power here, we can actually use the Allen wrench that's provided and I'm gonna remove the uh, blue screw that doesn't allow us to go to high mode. And now with that out here, you can see that we can go ahead and flick this over to high. And turning the flashlight on now, I can definitely see in my eyes here, hopefully on camera you can see, but it's definitely a higher output now. Let's go ahead, we're gonna switch it back to low power. If we did want to just shine our green laser, let's go ahead and turn it to V for visible laser. You can see there is our green laser coming out. And then if we wanna combine those two, the F and V, we can switch this back to FV for flashlight and visible laser. And now you can see there is our LED light as well as our green laser on the side as well. Pretty cool. For IR and the IR illuminator here, uh, I don't have night vision on my camera right now. So when I turn this on, uh, you can barely see it here actually. You can see there's the IR illuminator. And ironically enough, I can't see this with my naked eye. I didn't think this would pop up. So it does come up on my camera here, but when I'm looking off camera, I cannot see that at all. Pretty cool that works. Let's go ahead and do the L just to see if it shows up on camera. And nope, nothing shows up there. So we can only see the laser a little bit there. But if we do the C for combined, we might be able to see the laser a little bit. Yep, there we can see the laser just a little bit on camera. But again, to my naked eye, I can't see it at all. Pretty cool and pretty easy functionality here. Next up, again, you do have your uh, visible laser and your IR laser here. So you do need to zero that in. And to do so, you're gonna use the uh, mounts here on the side. We have a right left uh, dial as well as a up and down dial here. So just like any other uh, laser sight or red dot that you have, you're just gonna use these to adjust for windage elevation and get it zeroed in for the distance that you want on your setup. All right, let's go ahead and move to the back. We have some other things to go over here. This is the IR Illuminator Spot Adjuster. So this'll narrow down the uh, size of your IR illumination. And then when you turn it to the left, that will increase the size of the illumination. We also have a LED on the back here and you can see right now it is set to blue. When it's blue, that means you're on IR mode. 
So you can see we are set to the combo. So when I turn this to either L, I, or the C that it's currently on, it will be blue. So I'm gonna just turn it, we're on the other one. We're still on IR now, and you can see it remains blue. But now when we switch it over to visible uh, elements, such as the visible later laser, the flashlight, or the combo here, when I switch it over, you can see it now turns green, and that indicates it will be a visible laser or flashlight or bow. So green, visible, blue, invisible. Pretty nice indicator there. Next up in the center here, if we unscrew this, this is where we can use our pressure pad. So if I bring this guy back over here, uh, here's the pressure pad that's provided, and this is their own version that they have. You can see it's like a three prong here. So if you wanted to use this, all you'd have to do is line it up and then screw it into place. And now from here, you have the functioning pressure pad here. And it works just as you'd expect. Press and hold, it'll turn on, let go, turn off. And it's got several areas on the pad where it's three, actually three different buttons it feels like. So that's nice as far as hitting it at any spot on the pad and this will activate it. Another thing to note is you can use either or when you have this plugged in. So if you wanna use the button on top, you can still use that to activate it. Or if you wanna use your pressure pad, you can hit that to activate it as well. It's up to you. Moving to the bottom here, the other part that we have is the mount. The mount on this is pretty simple. It's a Picatinny mount here. All you have to do is use the Allen wrench that they provide. Loosen this screw up here and that will go ahead and loosen the Picatinny mount. And then all we have to do is tighten this back onto the rail, tighten that screw, and we're all mounted onto our rail. Awesome, so that does it for the functionality here. As far as overall feel, because I know that's something you all can't see uh, or feel on camera, this thing feels like it's duty grade. This is not plastic, this is not like, cheap material this thing feels duty grade and looks like it can take a beating and feels like that too so i did get this out to the range and tested this setup out here but unfortunately the video format was corrupted and i couldn't use it so i'll have to get some more footage of this but i did want to get this video out as far as my first impressions on this i got about 200 rounds at the range on this and i did go during daytime so i know this thing will thrive at night with the ir ir illuminator on it but as far as using even the green laser and just the white light having this pressure pad set up here with my grip here it made it so easy to manipulate. Also, the green laser held zero the entire time for those 200 rounds there. And I assume the IR laser, when I get to use that, will be the same and hold zero as well. Durability, I did actually drop this a couple times by accident because I don't like to throw my guns around or do the torture test part. But that being said, as I mentioned, it held zero. The body of this is solid and I was pretty impressed with it overall. My one complaint with it is the switch option here. As you can see, I did uh, kind of goon tape my switch that they provided here on it here. And this does work just fine. Once I got used to it but I do like some of the other switches and uh you know being able to do like a third party put a different switch on there would be nice but this is a different connection so you can't really do that with the other switches on the market possibly something in the future that might change on this model and would definitely be a plus another thing is use case for this this is definitely a niche market for what this can be used for but when it's used properly it thrives on my mp5 setup here you can see I have no rail space I have a little bit over here I already have my sling and my grip here so if this was just a IR illuminator and IR laser, I would still need a white light, a flashlight on there. So I'd have to mount that somewhere on here, which just wouldn't work for this package. Same thing for like a 10.5 AR. It's kind of hard to mount a IR laser, IR illuminator with a flashlight, with a pressure pad, with your grip it's not gonna fit on a 10.5 AR. So that is where the FL5 thrives is on these smaller setups. I wasn't always a big fan of the all-in-one combination here, but the way laser speed set this up, it just makes so much sense and it does such a good job. And like I said, I'm honestly amazed at how well this actually does work. The biggest plus side I would say to this is there were some issues with the earlier models. If you've seen some other reviews online from like Brass Facts, he had issues on the external components here, specifically the dials as well as the zeroing uh, windage elevation adjusters here. Since this video though, they sent me the updated one and they have solved all of that on it and all the external components are solid. On the windage and elevation, they actually put dials around the outside or a body around it. So now the only way to adjust it is with the tool by going from the center here. And if you bumper snag this on a branch or a tree or on the ground, it will not spin like in his video that he depicted. They solved that issue. The other one is the actual switches here. Uh, he had some issues with his. I believe they've updated these as well, and I have not had any issues. They can be a little bit difficult to kind of turn into place here if you're doing just like a one thumb uh, manipulation here. But if you come from the top or the side, it's super easy to do. But to be honest, I would rather it be a little bit more solid and difficult to move rather than it flopping around or like in his, it actually came off 
they updated these and these are solid now as well. Those were the only complaints he had. And since they solved that in this, and from what I experienced at the range so far, this is a no brainer for me. If you're looking to get like a PEC 15 or some kind of laser light combo for a smaller setup, a 10.5 AR or a MP5 PCC setup, this is the way to go for sure. You have your green laser, you have your white light, IR illuminator, IR laser, all in one package. And like I said, they fixed the issues with the prior models. So, this thing is good to go. The other thing is the price point, and I'd say it's right on par, actually well below other options on the market, such as a PEC 15, and you save some money to actually buy some nods, because we all know night vision is ungodly expensive, or some ammo for the range as well. I'll put a link to this down below. Hopefully this was helpful here. We'll have some more videos on this, as well as some other short videos, keeping you updated with my experience for it. For now, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, like and subscribe to the channel. Always appreciate that. And if you have questions, let me know down in the comments. I'm always happy to help. Until next time, have fun shooting, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, everybody.